Okay, let's start with our practice with chanting Om Mantra seven times. Бастрика Пранаяма. Continue, continue. When you do this, you forcibly blow, blow with your abdomen inside to activate Manipura Chakra, concentrating beneath the navel. A little bit two finger beneath the navel inside as if you're activating, as if you're trying to hit it with every blow, you are trying to activate it. Wake up, wake up, wake up Manipura Chakra. You continue practic practicing this without exaggeration. When it is getting too difficult, you come back to normal breathing, but you continue concentrating in the same Manipura Chakra. You concentrate there. And inside and feel the fire, feel the fire burning there. You do this practice and then when you are ready, continue with Bhastrika Pranayama or Kapalabhati Pranayama again. But without exaggerating, when it is getting, you are getting tired, getting tired, you come back to normal breathing and you continue the, the concentration on your Manipura Chakra, visualizing fire. Concentrating on Manipura Chakra, feel the fire, feel that energy, feel that battery of your energy body. By concentrating on this chakra, you will have more energy, you will become more powerful, you will have more discipline, you will have more fire in yourself, 
in your life. You will be able to do more things and be more active. Maybe even sleep less. This Manipura Chakra, very important. If you want to achieve more in your life, if you want to have more energy, more power in your life, activate, empower your Manipura Chakra. Continue. Kapalabhati. You can always do it more slow, you can do it more pronounced, more active, more, more inside, or you can also do it a bit less. If you feel like it is hurting, if you feel it is too much, you can also do it more shallow. And how is my expression? Because when mm -hmm. I put more energy here, I need to put my face like... Mm -hmm. But uh, the other day you say it is it, it it is better to consciously relax your face. You 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 have control over your muscles, and here you are making these muscles active, but at the same time you control these muscles by having them relaxed. Yeah, you, you, try, you try to have them relaxed. I'm uh, I'm a smile. It's... It is beautiful to smile. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Concentrate on Manipura Chakra, feel the fire. You can even do this practice with a candle or some kind of fire, fire, flame. And uh, when you look at that flame, the candle flame, for example, you see that fire and you visualize that fire in your Manipura Chakra, there inside. You project the fire you see in front of you, there. And it is even more uh, intense if you are, if you are practicing with a, with a bonfire, for example, a bigger fire. Then you can do it as a part of your sadhana. Look at that fire, feel that fire, and kind of draw that fire and visualize, feel it there in your Manipura Chakra. Another powerful way you can you can do this practice. Mm -hmm. One more time, Kapalabhati or Master Kapranayama. Some people call it Kapalabhati, usually it's Kapalabhati, but in other traditions they call it Master Kapranayama. The fire breaths, I guess it is also yeah, called respiration de fuego. back straight and feel and observe how you feel now after this practice after these Manipura practices the third chakra practices what is the difference you feel in yourself in your body 
Do you feel more activated? Do you feel energized in some way? Also, observe how your Manipura Chakra feels, how your stomach, the navel, all of that area feels. What's the feeling? It is more energized, it is more active, it is more radiating. Good. Next, we continue with another more advanced practice, Kumbhaka, right? We can start with Antar Kumbhaka, which is breath retentions, maintaining longer time breath retentions, but you also have to apply with Naranthara and Mula Bandha also. So we're going to do some kind of hyperventilation, breathing fully. Sometimes to prepare our, ourselves for the inhale, full inhale, then we'll follow Yalandhara Bandha, chin block here, and then Mula Bandha, the anal sphincter, like push it like this and press it upwards to press the energy up. While you do this, you maintain your spine straight and you concentrate on your on your Shushumna channel, your spine straight like a tube. And you're gonna maintain this for as long as you can, but without exaggerating. You don't want to exaggerate too much. When it is when you are ready, you release the Mula Bandha, you release Yalandhara Bandha, and then you and you come back to breathing and you can continue with the next round okay antar kumbhaka Observe how you feel. And then we can repeat again. You can also, when you do this, you can also have your, your watch, your chronometer, and after inhalation, 
make the time go and then you, you, you can see for how long you can retain your breath and you can also see your progress in this way too. Observe the results, how you feel. Okay. And I say we can do now. But here, Kumbaka, we're gonna also breathe sometimes to hyperventilate and then exhale all the air and then do this. You exhale mm -hmm. and contract. Mm -hmm. In this time, we can make it more advanced also by first, after hyperventilating, you nail, exhale, and then you do the chin lock, the Yalan Karabanda again. Then you do Mula Banda, the anal sphincters squeeze. Pushing the upwards again, and so this is one, two, and the third one is pull it, pull it in towards your spine, and up, in and up, and you maintain it, maintain it for as long as you can without exaggerating. When it is getting more difficult, you release the Udiana Banda. It's called Udiana Banda. So you release with Yana Banda, one. Second is you release the Mula Banda. And the third is you release Yalantkara Banda. And you breathe again. Yes?
observe the effects of this practice? What feels different? And I would like to end our practice with three on again. Three, three on chanting. You want? We can do one more. We already have 22 minutes. But we can do one more. One more. Let's go. Let's do the second time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for making us practice more. Thank you. Thank you for practicing with us. Thank you. Have a good day.